some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves at an extended stay hotel in Bloomington, Illinois, where we encounter a more sovtard who, well, outstays her welcome as she didn't pay for her room and does the usual uh, more sovtard thing, expecting everybody to pander to her because she's, of course, a more and more's conquered the world according to them so they own this land and you don't so there that's their excuse <laughs> well that's at least what the, some of them believe anyway but in the meantime let's go ahead and get this freaking ass show on the road shall we police department i need to speak with you who do you need to uh, speak with are you bartholomew no my last name is bartholomew Bay. Oh yeah, Bartholomew Bay. Yeah, that definitely makes you a more softard who possibly believes, like I said in the intro, that uh, you are entitled to this room because your ancestors apparently conquered the world. Yeah, we all know about that. We all know that that's a fairy tale that you uh, more softards like to uh, put out there. Yeah, you conquered the world. Yeah, right. Okay, whatever. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Last name is a surname that's to be respected. And on what? top of that, if you are not the officer that came on behalf of me, the need to speak with you is... I can't really hear you, man, because you're talking behind a closed door. Right, and you should, because your ears weren't even through a closed door. So I need you to open the door and identify yourself, and I need you to leave the hotel. No, I'm not, and no, I'm not. Okay, then you'll go to jail. Okay. You're good with that? Run it, run, run it in that order, sir. Okay. I got a room registered to me, which they would need to provide me a refund as well. They want you to leave. And I'm saying I want a refund if I'm going to. Okay, that's a civil I, matter. No, Listen. I don't have to leave because the police is at my door. It's actually a civil matter. They need to evict me out of the hotel. You are not going to get evicted out of the hotel. You have not put up any residency. You have not been there long enough to establish a residency. Therefore, it is not an eviction. It is a trespass. This is not your property. It belongs to the owner of the hotel, which is wanting you to leave. But you're too stupid to figure that out. That's not the case. Uh, how you guys, uh, well, show me it's the case that I'm just simply going to go to jail because okay. I have an issue here. And I'm talking to you through the door. You just stand right. here by himself? So I'm talking to you. I'm not, I think it's a girlfriend or wife or something. I stand with the girl sometimes. Is that his voice? Yeah, that's his voice. Too. First of all, that's not his voice. Well, can you hear from her? Are you going to open the door for us? No, you spoke to the manager, right? Yeah, we'll bring it. Other way. No. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That was real silly. Police Baby, department, go ahead and right? go ahead and open that for me. Yeah. No, I'm not. And I've already said I'm using a restroom, so I'm gonna make sure you get in here. I didn't hear that. Okay. Well, it doesn't sound like you're in the uh -oh. restroom. Oh, I, I bet it does. I bet it does since we're recording. I bet you this is where so, I've been, and I got shit in the toilet with motherfucking okay. tissue in my hand. Again, you need to pack your stuff and leave. No, no, you're not getting ready to tell me that through the door. Shut the door. No, if you refuse, you'll go to jail for trespass. Shut that door. No, I'm, I'm gonna leave. Are you recording? Yes, I am. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the individual inside. We handle this type of stuff in court all the time, and I do mean all the time. Yeah, and I've seen so many cases where. More softards like you end up being evicted because you don't pay your rent. You have an entitlement issue. You have all these beliefs that say that uh, you don't need to uh, pay any rent to begin with because your ancestors apparently conquered the world or something like that. I don't know. There's variations of the uh, story. You idiots can't keep your shit straight. The fact that you just opened that door, your name is Officer who? Cunningham. Officer Cunningham. You mean to tell me you opened that door while I said I was inside of the restroom? Right, Did you open yeah. that door while I said I was inside of a restroom? Yeah, are you gonna come unlock this so we can handle this civilly, or are you gonna be? No, I'm gonna use the bathroom. You're gonna back off because I have the 
right to do that in a room I paid for. You're not going to come like you're some form of authority that is going to begin to move me. You're doing nothing but mediating the issue. You are law enforcement. You are not trespassing until you've been kicked off of the property. I've signed a trespassing paper and you even got to go to court for it. Because that's not truly as trespassing works. That's just how you've been operating. That's not trespassing right there, it sounds like. It sounds more like you are uh, talking about eviction notices and everything like that. Uh, yeah, you can be kicked off of a property and trespass if the owner of the property wants you off there or anybody who runs the property. It's not an eviction. You're getting the two crossed. You're getting them mixed up. Of course, you are a more soft art, so you get everything mixed up because of all that lead paint running around in your brain. Business, this is not your residence. Saying something that may be against me, like, and I'm a female in the restroom. Ha ha! Have they processed the uh, refund? There was no refund. You yeah. used all your money. Okay, I paid for two days yesterday. So would that be yesterday and today, right? You used all your money already. I just paid $150 yesterday, right? And you were already behind. I was not behind. I was paid up. We started a new week yesterday. You used all your money and I can show you that as well. Okay, provide me the receipt. Bring it, send it through. Give me just one second. I'm actually gonna give you a call back. Um, I wanna go through this situation, then I'm gonna call you and let you know about these three officers at the hotel trying to bust through this door right now. I didn't even say I'm in a restroom. So if you heard all the other conversation through the door, you see, you ain't dealt with anybody as smart as me. Oh, wow. Such narcissism right there. Uh, you actually believe you're one of the smartest people around? Uh, yeah. Uh, why are you in this situation if you're that damn smart? If you were really smart, then uh, you would have already had your juror's doctorate by now rather than going for your... Uh, paralegal degree or something like that which is what you claim later on when you say you are that you're a paralegal yeah you're a paralegal well paralegal of what i don't know but it certainly isn't of reality you deal with criminals, you open the door, people who are degenerated in love with mine. We have. Can you provide the receipt? We would like you to open the door so we can resolve this. You can't leave. even resolve it. You're law enforcement. We you have like to enforce the law. We need you. Now they have to continue to adhere to the policy. Would you like to provide a receipt that shows me that I'm paid up, no money is owed, so I can continue to leave? Thank you. Uh, Are you looking at this? You can even keep your foot on the door. The thing is, I paid for this room and I'm paid up. Even okay. if they wanted me to leave today, that does not give me, that makes me, that does not make me unauthorized to still shut this door. In the state of no, it doesn't. That's I still have the work, I still have the right to open you it. You shut that door on me, I'm taking you to jail. Say what? Shut that door on me and I will take you to jail. Guess what? You came in my Get house on the door. before. And put, I bet you, I would Listen, not, that assault wouldn't hold up stop talking for like I two bet seconds. you that wouldn't hold up Stop before. talking. No, I don't have okay. to. No, I told you, you better look up that rock and that. Open that I, door now. I'm, I'm, How does this work? How does that work? Um, You're tearing up their property for absolutely no reason. Yeah. Provide me a receipt. Open the door now. You are doing Listen. damages to their property. They should provide me a receipt. So I'm able to get my property and leave here. They have no reason to do that. Oh, your back. Say, hey, I'm a more American Moroccan national. This is all behind your back. Yeah, more American Moroccan national, uh, which means absolutely nothing in this context because number one you don't own the property number two somebody else owns the property and number three they want you off the property which means you're being trespassed you're not being evicted you moron you're being trespassed there is a difference stop resisting stop resisting stop resisting i'm not resisting this is lies Quit this is lies. That's fine. Quit this is a resistance. Quit taking your arms. And first of all, you need to walk in and tell me why I'm being detained. Sure. No, put your hands behind your back. I don't have to. Sure. I, you grab me and then you can tell me. You did not tell me you have the right to remain silent. You did not tell me why I'm being detained. You're doing this. As you can see, they're fighting me and throwing me out of anger. Guess what? Put your I'm a hands behind your back. I'm a female. Get on the other side. I've done absolutely Please. nothing wrong. And I'm a female being handled this way. Get hey, buddy, come get the wrist. Come and get the wrist. Remember they did this? Remember this? They showed this already. 
Yup, that's against the law. Please. That's against the Please. law. Stop. Sir, babe, you see already Sir, you're making me hide scared. Please no, stop. I, you Sir, can't you're be scared. scaring me. I, you can't be scared. Your hands My hands are falling. Please stop. You can Don't do it, Tay. Please say. stop. I can get tased. Put Please your hand behind your back. I am standing here with my hands down. One more. So how am I gonna get tased? Adam six one more. How I'm tased? Can I get your body cam? Stop video? resisting. That's no. a woman. I'm not resisting. I'm resisting, and they Please. told you this to court now. Please stop. George Floyd didn't teach you this to resisting. Sir. That you can't do Please this stop. truly. Yeah, I don't think that George Floyd was trespassing in a hotel like you were. Yeah, two entirely different scenarios, dipshit. Don't do Please that. Stop. Don't do that. Please stop. This is not going to hold up. This is not going to hold up. Stop. How am I resisting? You tell me in court with 12 jurors, how am I resisting? Oh, you could use another. How am I resisting? You're not bringing me out my pants down. Well, you are not. Uh, you are not walking me down. Oh, she got you on camera. You can do it. You don't understand. I shouldn't even have to get on the floor. You don't understand. Oh, I, I got to. You ain't hiding this. Boy, you, I'm a Moroccan national. Oh, my God. You really think this is going to hold up? She just got full video of you. You thought coming out here and kneeing me in my head. I'm about to contact her. She has the highest clearance you can have. You have anything in the pocket that can block me? Nope. Highest clearance you can have in the Pentagon. Yeah, who's this uh, contact you've got in the Pentagon? Is it another more soft hard with delusions of grandeur? Because we all know that you more soft hearts like to play around with these titles as if they were nothing more than candy to you. Yes, the, I don't know how many times I've seen a uh, more Secretary of State being arrested. Yes, I see what to feel about this. Babe, I'm right. call my Aunt Wani and call Aunt Monica. Okay. <laughs> Hey, babe, they, they shouldn't even have me push down. I was standing up. Right now, he's trying to make sure I can't breathe. He put me in the George Floyd. Can you come in the front? Babe, they got me in the same position George Floyd was in. The exact. They had me in the exact same position George Floyd was in. Thank you. Thank you. All right, now we're going to stand up or we're going to walk out? Oh, I know. I know. Thank you, love. You know I'm getting ready to bond right out and come down. That. Nope, that's his or property. You know I'm bonding out and coming down. Dad, can you let them know to give me your property? Oh, no, that's her property. Oh. Give it. Give no, her. It's going with right you. Right now, I am telling it's you to give my property over. It's going oh, with go. you. No, it's not. You, I, can, I can determine where my property wow. goes. Babe, come down. And listen, nobody even said why I'm going to jail. Do y'all know this when I go in? You never even arrested me and said why I'm going in. And I can put my pants up. No, I don't have to do that, bro. You literally just did this while she got on camera. Not what would you off. tell your kids? Babe, don't push me too, so I got oh, that on okay, camera. Okay, that's fine, man. man. I'm gonna be all right. Okay. Babe, I promise you, I'm gonna be all right, okay? Now, I'm about to talk to three men who have some man in their life that they're raising right now. I don't care if it's your grandson, your nephew, or anything. And I know you guys have seen too much on TV right now. Why you didn't come in here to a hotel where I was locked in a room and you pretended like you were going to be the one attacked with three officers with guns on them where I'm the most intimidated person in society right now in this denominator. You guys are killing black people out here, but you were scared with three guns. You let them come in and by law, before you detain someone, what do you have to do? You were asked to leave. You were what told you, you were going to be under arrest. By law, do when you arrest someone, what do you do? What do you do by law? You have to what? Inside of the arrest, what do you have to do? Because I study it, I'm a paralegal student. No report, no. No, no. You don't want to throw me on the ground anymore? You don't want to put your knee in my neck and choke me? You thought you watched that and you think it's okay? You literally watched that in a non-violent situation and you feel like macho. He's not going to prove this later. And then you're on camera and he has to try to clean it up. Are you serious? Give my property over to my uh, wife. Now, if you tell me I can't get my, wife, my property to my wife, I know something. I'm a female. I keep telling you that. You uh, seen them grab my cat? Yeah. Thank you. You yeah. seen them grab my cat? Yeah. Oh, my God. I told you I'm a female. Now you just sexually harassed me. Now you just uh, sexually assaulted me, and you knew it. You put me in the position of George Floyd when I mentioned it, and then I tell you I'm a woman, and you still stick your hands between my legs to where I can feel your fingers on my lips. No, sir. You don't want a job. I know who you are. No, uh, uh, you, you, don't, you know who I am because you've already verified it. Let me hurry up and get out for trespassing. Officer Cunningham, you're not. I hate that you just did this. 
You need a, uh, uh, look the other way for me. No, I don't have to look the other way. Listen, do you got hope you have you a video on the inside too? Yeah, you might want to take that paralegal certificate and, uh, well, get your money back because somebody really screwed you over on that one. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?